Hi guys and gals. Today I'd like to share with you my tool that is so cool. It's called a digital dyno for HO scale slot cars. Check this out. This is such a cool little tool and what we're going to do is we're going to test some pancake cars from stock T-Jet, modified T-Jet, some inline cars like Tyco 440, HP 7s, and we'll even try a couple of wizard cars over there by the pit garage. So this little tool here is going to give us an RPM of what the back wheels are doing. And the last I knew, the one with the highest RPM wins. So we're going to test our cars at 9 volts. I have my power supply tested at 9 volts, even though the instructions say anywhere from 12 to 24 volts. I don't feel it's necessary to go full blast with testing. I believe 9 volts is a great number. Not to mention with 9 volts, if you take a fresh 9 volt battery, that will work just as well. So just for the sake of ease, I have it plugged into my power supply and I think we should go ahead and start testing. Let's do that right now. Let's start with an Aurora T-Jet stock. No bells and whistles, just to get the game started here. Who's got the highest RPM at the rear wheels? So the little magnets, neo magnets that are on the test track are set at the distance that I want. They act as a stop. The rear roller is rolling. So I'm going to press to test button. Pretty simple. And just hold it for a second. Let up. Pull the car. Push the top button. The high is what I'm looking for is 1500 RPMs and that is a stock T-Jet. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try a stock, um, another stock T-Jet. See how it competes against its little rival. This one was more like a tough one setup. Um, but it's a stock T-Jet nine tooth kind of a setup on this Willys. See what we do here. Uh, press the test. And the Willys is not much faster than the Ford Fairlane. A little bit, a little bit. Let's press to see the high. And it was uh, 1,368 RPM. That was the Willys. Okay. Now this one here I know is pretty punchy. This one here is a T-Jet. It looks stock. It looks like a stock T-Jet. Let me get it here so you can see it okay but it has a mean green motor in it yep it's my little Ford GT with a mean green motor it's kind of a sleeper car so let's put this on the dyno and see what we have Ooh, I can hear it rev let's get that rear roller ripping here and press the test oh, I thought we would be breaking closer to two but I saw an 1800 there Okay, that was that was the uh, 4GT, and it tested at 1,889 RPM. Okay, not as impressive as I thought it would be. Now, let's try this. Uh, this is kind of a fancy T-Jet. It has a whoop. Here, let's get it in view. This is a fancy T-Jet. It's a uh, more of a tough one set up. It has a 14 tooth pinion, so it seems like in theory this one here It probably has a mean green armature in it if I'm not mistaken This one in theory should rev right up there. I want to say in the 3000 area Let's give it a test and see what happens here well, It's wanting to push off the roller There we go I had to reset the stop and let's press the test. Oh, well, I was thinking 3,000, but it looks like 26 at the peak on this car. Okay, so that was my AMC T Jet. Faster than the, the uh, other ones, but not as fast as I thought it would be. Okay, now this one here, 
I know is really fast. This is my um, Auto World Chevy Nova. And I know this thing rips even at low voltage, so let's see what this one does on the dyno. Oh, okay, I need to reset the... Man, it wants to get up and go. I need to reset the stop, the magnet stops. Okay, let's give that another try. Here's the Nova. Auto World Nova. It's just like uncontrollable. It just wants to blow right off the track, man. I think if we could get a reading off this, we'll be lucky. Oh, I just spun the tire off. Okay, time out. Man, guys, this this little Nova, this little Nova, the RPMs were so high at 9 volts, it just spun the tires right off. So I went ahead and put some fresh tires on it, and let's see if I can even get a reading with this car. Man, that'd be nice if we could, because it really rips. Oh, man, come on, let's stay on the track here, little Nova. It needs to keep up with that roller. Reading. Uh-huh, I knew it was fast. Look at that puppy go at 9 volts. Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my Auto World Nova. I believe that probably has a mean green. Knowing me, it probably has a mean green armature in it. So what did that test at? Wow. 5,596 to the rear wheels. That one so far, folks, is in the lead. I got to put that right here. Let's put the Nova right there because that puppy right there is in the lead. The Nova one. How many again? Uh, that's your low end, the 39. That was probably when it was slowing down. 48 was the last reading. 5,596 RPMs for the Nova. Okay, so now I'm curious about this one here. This was a mean green, uh, mean green Auto World setup with brass rear end. This is kind of a sleeper, bastardized, non-gravity race car, we like to call it. Yes, it does have a mean green. Let's see what this puppy reads. Here we go. Whoop, it wants to push the stops forward. Man. That's got some power. Okay, let's try that again. Wow, reset the stop. Okay, might have to hold it for a while until it catches up with the roller. Holy crap. Okay, let's get a reading. Okay. I think it's kind of skipping on the tires a little bit. Okay, so I look like around 3,000 on this piece. Let's check. 4,100. And that was an Auto World with brass rear end. Okay, satisfied my curiosity on that car. So let's go ahead and step it up a little bit. Let's try an inline car. This is an HP7, Tyco HP7 car. It's got some pro tires on the back, so maybe it'll grip to the rear roller really nice. I'm going to possibly have to reset the stops forward because it is a longer chassis. So let's see here. Okay, we need to go back just a little bit with the stops. Too, too much forward. I want to grind those rear tires off. Okay, here we go. Press the test. This is the Tyco HP7. And I'm seeing around 3,000 RPM. Well, that was nothing real fancy. My goodness, the T-Jets were just as fast as this, if not faster on a few of them. Huh, okay. So this one here is a Tyco 440. Let's see what it does. Okay, the, it pushed the stops forward, so let's reset those. Press to test. Boy, that was a rough reading. 
around 3,100 RPMs for the Tyco 440. I mean, come on, the T-Jets are right up there. Huh, that's interesting. Let's try this Wizard Patriot chassis. See, this is an inline motor as well. Let's see what this has going on. Well, let's push the stops back to accommodate the length of this chassis. Okay, press to test this car chassis and yeah, a little over 4,000 RPMs with a stock with a stock Wizard Patriot. Okay, now this one here is a Patriot with this one's a Patriot with a high performance motor at 2.8 ohm if I recall. So let's see what this thing's got going on. Oh I can hear it. Holy crap. Let's see what we got let's see what we have here. Yep. Wow, look at that people. So what happens when you get a high performance motor going on? Man, did that whip the roller or what? Okay, that one definitely won. Let's see, so that one tested at high at 10,800 RPMs, people. Okay, this car won. That was fun. Hope you guys learned something. This was the uh, digital dyno HL slot car machine tool. And uh, look at that puppy. Let's just do that one more time. Wow, is that cool or what? Not quite at the 10 that it was at, but wow. Interesting. Okay, well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the show as much as I did because that was fun. I'll catch you next time here at YouTube. You guys have a great race day.